Hi there, Ollie here from White Gates. You join me at number 12 Bracken Hill. That's located just off Stocksbank Road. So that's the road that leads uh, out of uh, Murfield. Um, it's elevated up from Stocksbank. Bracken Hill's quite steep, so it's got a lovely open aspect. Um, it is on the market at £325,000. Big garden, beautiful period property. Uh, obviously, it's, it sounds like a good bargain. Uh, it is in need of some modernisation. Uh, the family uh, has, has owned this property for, for a number of decades. Um, it's been uh, loved but it's ready I'd suggest for, for modernising maybe some sort of an extension, a reconfiguration of the space. Um, but what you'd end up with is a, a fantastic detached uh, period property, a lot of curb appeal, a really handsome house. Um, but there's things to take into consideration, you know, you'd need to uh, kind of factor in uh, adding a driveway um, and parking, uh, etc. Um, but if you are willing to, to, to go for it, uh, you could end up with a real bargain by the time you're finished in equity. Um, so yeah, we'll have a flip round, have a look around this interesting property, and I'll have a chat with you. Uh, I'll have a chat with you after. The rear entrance to the uh, to the house is via this porch. It leads straight out into the uh, big big back garden. Uh, from there, we've got a heavy timber door into the kitchen. Space for a freestanding cooker. Uh, quite dated units. Uh, we've got a nice log burner in here, so a real farmhouse style quarry tiled floor uh, and units with the beams above. Uh, from here, this glazed double doors into a big reception which makes an ideal dining room the modern buyer might think of creating a real big open plan dining kitchen uh, so this is a big big room ornamental fireplace there and the front facing window into the uh, the front entrance hall actually uh, you'd probably use that back door more though being straight into the kitchen uh, this is just a little entrance vestibule stairs up to the first floor and then the lounge, uh, similar size to the dining room, so two big rooms downstairs. I'll just have a look back the other way. So yeah, front facing window. Probably a really nice feature fireplace behind that. It's been hidden by kind of the 1970s, 80s style fireplace. Um, and then just to get your bearings, this loops back round into the kitchen. So if I just stand over by the fire there, dining room lounge and then out into the porch and outside. Let's have a look in the cellar. I love these, it's a real traditional cellar. Uh, you've got the massive butcher's slab, vaulted ceiling, uh, the old meat hooks up there. So I've seen some like this turned into pretty funky cinema rooms. Bit of natural light to the front there. Upstairs now directly above the lounge we've got a big room here it's a massive double take a look at the floor plan if you're looking via uh, right move the floor plan will be on there or our own website and the dimensions are also on there too but yeah big double um, and then over the entrance hall here um, another window and what would be uh, a, a dressing room effectively maybe an ensuite you could get in there Across from that bedroom over the lounge, we've got the bedroom over the dining room. Uh, and again, not watching it size wise, take a look at the floor plan. Another proper double. Back onto the landing. Please duck. That's caught me out a few times. Uh, and then we're over the kitchen. So that's split into a small single. A single bed in there. The, a rear facing window again to get your bearings 
out onto the garden. Uh, this is a pitched roof, but it's actually pitched back towards the original property, uh, so there's restricted head height there. Uh, and then just partitioned off into the bathroom. So yeah, they've kind of shoehorned in the bathroom and the uh, and the third bedroom over the kitchen. Nice modern Worcester Bosch combi in there actually, and a side facing window. A lot of people have viewed would uh, reconfigure this extended portion um, uh, just to make it a bit more uh, usable for modern. Hi, so we're back and it is uh, it's a good one I think you'll find. A uh, bit of a head scratcher, a lot of people have viewed it and, and kind of thought uh, how they could make it work. Uh, we've actually got a few second viewings this week which is good. Uh, so if you do want a uh, to, 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 to take a look at it or have a chat for further information, uh, just click on whatever link is, uh, is on Rightmove um, and get in touch. Uh, speak soon. Cheers guys.